What's up, cutie pies? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be on MLB The Show 21. Sorry for the disappearance lately. I was working on a 2K video where I had the Baylor's men's basketball team playing the Stanford women's basketball team, but I ended up not finishing the video because Baylor just ended up blowing out Stanford every single time they played, so I just scrapped the idea. But in this video, I'm gonna be going into Stadium Creator. This feature is only available to Next Gen, but you can do some pretty cool stuff on here. There's a bunch of pre-built stadiums that you can start off from, and I'm gonna be choosing the major canvas. Now, right away, we're getting a very good view of the area. Area. You can see what top-notch technology looks like in the background. Great detail over there. First thing is first, we have too many fans here according to COVID regulations. It's time to commit some genocide. I decided to go ahead and delete the bottom two sections. It seems like the upper deck is just cool floating there. I'm also going to remove the roof from the people up top. Just want to make sure anybody attending the games at my ballpark is going to leave with a nice cool sunburn and they're not going to have any protection from foul balls. Now that we have that taken care of, it's time to turn our attention towards our actual baseball field. Our field already looks pretty depressing so I thought I'd just turn that up a notch. I went with the fescue grass type, in other words just dark gray. Never actually seen this in real life. Then we're just gonna go with dirt 8 which just looks muddy and gross. Kinda like it. Now there's a bunch of buildings you can choose from but the one building that really caught my eye was the dark towers. Kinda has a New York City vibe to it. And Then we're just gonna go over to features. Put one of these bad boys right there. Then we're just gonna put this right here on the north tower. Looks pretty good already, but I kind of wanted to see what I could do with this big ass skyscraper. It doesn't even fit on the screen. The only way you can see it is if you put it into this blurry abyss over here, and then you can see it kind of resembles a penis. And I couldn't help myself. And for good measure, just to follow the theme, we're just going to place another airplane going into the top of the building. So far we're looking pretty good, we got some floating fans, some terrorist attacks, but then I discovered these letters. Now there's about an endless outcome of bad things and bad phrases I could say with these. I'm very surprised MLB gave me this much freedom to do terrible things with their game. And for the fans that are privileged enough to have free will at my ballpark, I'm going to make their experience a little bit worse. You may have a great view of the game, but you are not going to be greeted with hospitality. That ought to do. Then I'm gonna place some sweets over here on the ground level in the other dugout. Again, we're gonna leave another message on top of the dugout. Rape is bad. Oh wow, how controversial. <laughs> Then my plan from here was to start fucking with the left field wall to the point that it was almost unusable. I went on for several minutes zigzagging it until I realized that as soon as I touch the walls it's unusable and I can't actually play on the ballpark from this point on. It seems as if the only customization I have with the actual walls is choosing between one of the pre-built ones. I went with this atrocity. It goes 310 feet back on each of the foul poles. And then my favorite part, besides the whole wall thing that's going on, the back left and back right corner goes back to 409 feet, while the actual center field wall only goes back to 395. And obviously to finish that off, we got two scalene triangles and a rectangle that goes up to 40 feet tall. Gonna be pretty difficult to hit a home run over this without steroids. Then for some reason, they allow you to put dinosaurs down. Gonna put a brontosaurus over here on this dugout. Hopefully this is the away dugout and this gives us a home field advantage by them having to deal with a fucking dinosaur in their dugout the whole entire time. The dinosaur doesn't really do anything but move around very menacingly. I tried to, uh, yeah, you know, but, but they didn't like that. Then from here, I'm thinking everybody in the ballpark would enjoy some concessions, restrooms, all that good stuff. So I decided to build a road going towards all that. As you can see, it takes you safely behind the Twin Towers. Gonna have to do some zigzags here. And you pretty much end up right behind the other dugout. And at the end of this road, you're greeted by a single taco stand and a popcorn stand, which might make you thirsty, so you're wondering where your drink stand is. And it's all the way over there, by the dark abyss. So I thought this would be a good marketing tactic, because if you have to walk all the way over to the drink stand, you're probably going to end up buying more than you originally intended. That's just good marketing right there. And if you want to go to the restroom, you got to get through a cage of dinosaurs, which isn't a marketing strategy at all. It just allows me to pay my custodians well below minimum wage because they have nothing to do around here. Then from here, I thought I'd place some statues behind home plate. We're going to put a bear statue down and honor the greatest football player of all time. Little friendly alien here because she's looking kind of thick, but you still got that thigh gap. Just perfect symmetry. What unrealistic body expectations though. Shame on them. Then we're going to put a LeBron statue here and an unarmed black... Now 
there's a bunch of unnecessary objects you can place down, like a UFO, a train, not attached to any tracks or anything, not sure how they got it out here. You can put down a soccer field, but then the next gen technology is showing itself off again, just cutting it off. Really shows why this console's worth the extra several hundred dollars. You can put down the entire Del Perro Pier from GTA 5. I mean, fuck it, just throw down some more baseball parks, why not? You can put down one half of the McDonald's logo, a whole ass bridge or two, yeah, don't know what to do with that. But I'm just gonna end up putting a steamboat over here on the right, and a nice little riverboat. Apparently it doesn't matter that it's sitting on grass, so that's okay. And the only thing I think this ballpark is missing is a giant stack of cows, but this might take a while. So about five minutes later and I'm almost out of storage at this ballpark, and I think I hit some type of game ceiling right here, as I couldn't actually go up and see the cows anymore, so I was just guessing on the placement. I thought I'd take a cow though and see where the actual game ceiling is placed at. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but he goes up high enough that he just fades away into the sun. Brave little cow. I did actually place him up there, you just can't see him. And by doing this, I'm pretty sure I just offended a religion, or I just created one. One or the other. I ended up counting the cows, and there's about 205 of them. I just can't imagine if this cow tower was actually fully functioning. I did the math, and with a cow shitting about 65 pounds of manure per day, and my 205 cows, they would be producing over 13,000 pounds of poop per day. I'm sure there's a math problem and solution to be found here in this cow scenario of my pooping tower of cows. But for now, it's just a sight to see, and hopefully I'm going to be able to hit this with a baseball once. You get two types of flags to choose from, the American flag and the LGBT flag. Obviously, the two most important flags of all time. So we're just going to plop that down by the first base side and right in front of the fans point of view and while i'm editing this i realize that that looks like i'm saying fuck you lgbt um wasn't the plan nothing wrong with the lgbt homies uh personally my favorite is the l group i like to support the businesswomen inside of that group they do great work and great things on the internet but yeah we're at 93 percent of storage filled up this ballpark's an absolute mess i'm pretty proud of it pretty proud of my cows and the only thing we have from here to do is to actually play in it I'm currently playing on the iowa cubs we're just gonna sign our ballpark right there. And here we are playing in this depressing field, fully functional. Got all our dinosaurs in the background, the giant wall. Really just a beautiful ballpark and a beautiful day for baseball. I also now have a lifetime goal of hitting the cows. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Just like it's a bit difficult to actually hit it over the 40 foot wall. Didn't see that one coming. But yeah, fully functional ballpark. This game is pretty fun to play. Obviously it could be a lot better because all of our sports games have very low standards. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. But remember guys, horoscopes are for hoes. The Jake Paul fight was rigged. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.